So for some reason, my particular phone does not do more than a like 16 minutes of video. So I didn't want to run into it cutting off without notifying you that I was cutting off and having a part two. So this will be the part two. This is Cheyenne Life or Debbie as I'm called. And uh, just continuing on with the tomatoes, you can see the super sauce tomato plants there that are really starting to now get going with growing extra green put on and even some blooms that I have had on one of them and it's actually starting to set a tomato that would be the first one right here and as you can see I did take all of the limbs off of the bottom of those tomato plants you can see just the stem there and I did plant them very very deeply so they should start really putting on extra foliage and things like that at the top and I'm making sure to keep the suckers um, pinched out and then I did go ahead and plant the extra two super sauce tomatoes that I had for backup and those are really starting to take off as well and I do have some red curry seeds that are planted in between each of those tomato plants as well as along this this edge and then another of my I think this one's a yellow pear tomato or a cherry tomato and that one's really taking off and this cucumber plant is beginning to take off now and set some runners and I do have some other cucumbers some tender green that I had put out here that I had started from seed you can see those there and they should start taking off soon I did go ahead and pick up some big beef tomatoes uh, two of them there in the back and they're really starting to take off now as well my clematis is starting to put on some runners and I put a couple of sticks in there so I could just climb those and I did go ahead and plant some acorn squash in that section and you can see the artichokes over there behind also in this section my asparagus beans are beginning to come up I've only had one come up so far so I may have to replant those they may have uh, actually rotted in the ground because of how wet it was this spring and then you can see the dill all around the edges which is always where I put my dill and I have a huge harvest of dill every single season. I went ahead and put some my ox heart tomatoes back here and they are just already really taking off. Um, I don't think they were doing very well inside and they were just small seedlings. So I went ahead and just took a chance and put them out here even though they were really too small and they have just loved it. They took off, um, especially that one there in the back. There's my artichokes again. I only had two of the artichokes remaining and here are the potatoes so i'm glad that you're getting able, being able to see this in the sun in daylight so that way you're not wondering what the heck i'm pointing at because the last video that i did of a garden tour was just it was really dusk dark almost so anyway you can see my potatoes there i have the two rows of red norland in the back and a half row of red norland here and then in the front there is the Kennebec, and then between the Kennebec and the first row of Red Norland, there is a row of Idaho, and all of the Idaho are coming up now, as you can see there. So I look forward to seeing those. It'll be the first Idahos that I've actually grown, so we'll see what they do. And then you can see my white pumpkin there is really beginning to take off. I went ahead and pulled the dirt up around the stem even higher to just get that stem stronger in the wind and it loved it. So it's really beginning to take off, put on more leaves, probably will start running soon. And I've got some more white pumpkin seeds planted there in that section. And then I went ahead and set my golden midget watermelons out here. Um, the garlic patch didn't seem to be doing very well. And I've struggled with um, having garlic here, so I think I'm just really going to have to put it in a raised bed. So I've got a couple of garlic plants, but otherwise this is going to be the golden midget watermelon patch here. All of my corn is coming up. I have five rows of the early sun glow here and is just really waiting for me to put some bean seeds in now. Um, I'm going to be putting some runner beans of some sort in there, pole beans, to go up those. And I did go ahead and plant some more Tahitian squash here along the edge. 
So we have kind of a modified three sisters method. And then here in this planter, I went ahead and pulled out the marigold because this marigold seemed to be struggling and I put it in the back to see if that would help a little bit. And I went ahead and planted uh, a couple of jalapenos here in the middle. Um, we didn't really have any hot peppers that were going on. All of them were sweet. And I do like jalapenos from time to time. So we went ahead and couple, put a couple of jalapeno plants in. And I have always, back when I was in Tennessee, had just huge amounts of jalapenos on one plant that was enough for me. So that is all we need. And those tomato plants, they were struggling a little bit, but now they are starting to take off. The center sections are getting green again, as you can see there. So they just really had to adjust to how hot these two planters get because they are galvanized steel metal planters. So those are taking off. Now we'll go out here to the herb patch that I have. And I've actually converted it into growing some vegetables as well. So we have the banana squash in here that I had mentioned before as well as having some lemon balm here you can see in the middle and some chamomile and i'm not real sure what these plants are i've still been looking for these they put on beautiful purple flowers and they smell good but i don't think you can eat them so i haven't even um haven't went there and i don't think i will will be doing that anyway um so i went in here and cleaned out a lot of this i still have some grass remaining but we did put in some gladiola bulbs some ranunculus, some dahlias, um, and uh, some tigridia as well, but I'm not sure if any of them will come up because they were like zone eight to 10. But I did go ahead and put in some acorn squash that you can see right on the outer edge. These are my ornamental oreganos here. And these are supposed to be ornamental, but you can actually eat them, and they're more mild than the regular oregano. So if you have problems with heartburn, go for the ornamental oregano. This actually drapes like a willow tree when it gets taller and is much better than the other variety. And then we have some elf thyme. Two patches of that here. And then another set of red lilies. I have six red lilies it started out with one so i'm going to have to separate those this season and i did go ahead and put some more seeds through here and in the center section i planted my white crenshaw melons so we have the white crenshaw melons banana squash over here in this corner and then about 10 feet away are the acorn squash so hopefully they will not cross i've had it happen before and we'll see what happens. But anyway, that is the garden tour. I hope everyone has enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And we will continue to have more videos of garden updates when we get seeds and plant them in, plants that plant in, or all kinds of things going on. So I hope you enjoyed that, and we will see you in the next one.